In this video, we'll talk about the digger and views. We're using the color logos view on the views tab. If you used a previous video, double click color logos and choose don't save to discard the changes from the previous video. The digger allows us to create detailed views seeing inside the model or zooming in on particular portions of the model to allow us to get a closer look at what's going on. To activate the digger, click in the viewport and press the space bar. You can drag the digger to wherever you want to position it on your screen. Click this button here, Show Hide Tools, to display the other tools of the digger. To focus on a different portion of the model, drag the plus sign, change center of interest onto the model. The Zoom tool is currently active. You can change the percentage of zoom by dragging this handle right here to zoom in or to zoom out. You can use a cutting plane, which creates a section view through the model. Other tools you can use are X-ray or onion skin. Both of these tools peel away layers of the models so you can see what's going on inside. Turn on onion skin and drag the handle. Notice how different actors are peeled away to show what's going on inside? If you want to change the center of interest again, you drag it from the plus sign and drop it on another portion of the model. Once you have the detail view the way that you want, click this button here, Capture Picture in 2D Image, to create a detail view. Now that your viewport is set up just the way that you want, your next logical step is to create a view. Views are very important in 3D via Composer. If you ultimately plan to create 2D output, you need to have your view set up just the way you want. Then it will be very easy to publish out vector graphics or raster graphics image files. To create a view, you go to the Views tab and click the first button, Create View. Let's rename this view to My View. Notice that the detailed view that I created is slightly off of the image. So, I need to make an update. I'm going to drag my detail view over. Now that I have it where I want, I select my view and click Update View. So that's how to create and update your views. Do that properly and it'll be a snap to publish images later on. To switch between views, you can scroll up and down the tree to find a view that you want. And double click to activate another view. To delete a view, let's delete the one that we just created. Select the view thumbnail and press delete on your keyboard.